Hi and welcome to Spice and Pants. Today we'll be cooking yam cake. So let's start cooking. We're going to fry some of the ingredients first. Heat up a pan, add in some oil. Swirl the oil around. I'm going to add in six pieces of dried mushroom which I rehydrated and cut into cubes like this. 30 grams of dried shrimps which I rehydrated also and pour out the water. Do save up the water. I'm going to explain later how much water I use to soak the mushroom as well as the dried shrimp. Fry them for a while until fragrant. Pretty fast actually. Now I can smell the lovely fragrance that's coming out from this. I like to add in my yam now and fry together so that the yam can absorb some of this beautiful taste also. I have with me over here 200 grams of yam which I've actually cut into small pieces like this. Just pour them in. We'll fry them for approximately 5 minutes. Stir them, don't burn them. I'm frying them on medium to low heat. We'll fry them dry like this. We'll just leave this aside and I'll show you how we make the flour mixture. Okay, off the plate, set it aside. We're going to make the flour mixture now. Over here, I have with me 240 grams of rice flour. I'm going to add in 45 grams of tapioca flour. I'm adding in one teaspoon of chicken stock powder as well as one and a half teaspoon of salt. Add in a little bit of grounded white pepper. I'm going to add in two cups of water. Stir as you mix them in. One cup is 250 ml. And over here I have a total of 500 ml of water also. Half of it is from the water that I soak the mushroom in and half of it is the water that I soak the dried shrimp in. So I'm just going to pour them in also. Mix them up well. So after this is done, we'll cook this now. At medium heat, we'll pour this mixture in. Turn the heat to medium low and keep moving it around. I'll show you how it looks like when it's done. All right, we are halfway done. As you can see, some of them has actually turned into a mixture of mesh like this. Remember when you stir them, stir them and scrape them up from the bottom, we don't want to burn them. When it becomes something like this, you have to turn the heat down a little bit to low heat so that we don't burn them. Okay. Now the reason why we want to do this because if we were to have a watery mixture and we put in all the ingredients inside, all the ingredients will just sink below. Okay, we need to mix it nicely. Now something like this will be good. We turn off the heat now and we add in the rest of the ingredients. Mix them up well. Right, when you have mixed them up well like this, you'll put them into a steaming tray. This is our steaming tray. I'm just going to oil the bottom and side so that it will be easier for me to remove the yam cake later. Okay, something like this would be good. So now let's pour all the mixture into here. We'll be using a spatula to level this up. So now I just want to scoop this all in. And push this down. This is going to be so good. This traditionally what you can take for breakfast or for tea break. It'll take a little bit of time to do this, but 
you can actually eat this after you steam this or if you want you can actually cut this into pieces and pan fry it again it is very good also try to smoothen out all the edges and try to make the thickness the same so that they will cook evenly we are now going to steam the yam cake make sure that your water is boiling put the yam cake in cover it up depending on the depth of your steaming pan this will take between 30 to 40 minutes okay i'll see you back in a while i've steamed this for 40 minutes already let's just have a look i think it's done how do you know whether it's done or not just take a bamboo skewer poke it in take it out if it's clean like this that means it's done right okay but along the way please do check your water level if it's too low you need to add in more just add in more so now we'll wait for this to cool down before we remove this from the tray we will now remove the yam cake from the tray with a sharp knife just lightly run through the sides just go around the whole tray remember that you have to wait for it to cool down before you remove it from the tray okay now we'll try to put it out onto this have here okay and voila it's done so now we'll cut this up and we'll serve this and now the yin is done let's have a taste now the yin that i like has to be wobbly and cute so let's just have a look first right it's very wobbly and how do you differentiate between a good yam cake and a lousy big one it don't actually stick to your teeth. Very nice. Mm. You can get the fragrance of the shrimps, the mushroom, the yam. This is really good. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.